Well, you've all heard of pigs in a blanket. This week, though, we're doing something a little more hearty. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What's up, guys? It's Tyler Byers with Barbells and Barbecue, and this week we're doing hogs in a hammock. Let's get it. All right. What we got here are the basic components of what we know as pigs in a blanket. The only difference is I'm adding some pickled jalapenos, some cheddar, and I swiped out those little fellas for a bigger, more plump Bahama Mama. As the ladies might agree, gents, you're going to thank me later. So let's get started. Need to crack open these here croissants. My freaking nemesis. Cut. Well, as you can see, crisis averted. Didn't realize I'd have a PhD in Pillsbury to get that can open, but we got her. So let's get started. First things first, got the crescent rolls laid out. Got these pickled jalapenos. I'm going to press them in the dough. So just press them. No rhyme or reason. I'm thinking like three or four each. Just kind of press them in the dough to where they become part of the dough. Just like that. This is totally optional, but I like heat. For those who watch this channel know that. Just, just like that. Next, take one of my Bahama Mamas made right here in Columbus, Ohio. Schmidt Sausage House. Uh, highly recommend just talking on this. I'm going to slit it down the center as I'm talking to you guys. So each of those down the center. I do recommend uh, a fully cooked dog as these are only going to be in the smoker for about 15 to 20 minutes. So a raw dog. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, kids. <laughs> so uh, um, that's the only way I can say. A raw dog uh, might not cook all the way through by the time the crescent's done, crescent roll's done. So you either use a leftover uh, brat or dog from the night before or buy pre-cooked like these are. Take it just like that. Like previous video, kind of make a boat. And we're just going to take a piece of that cheddar and stuff it right in there just like that. And then, kind of, my vision is closing her up. Oh, lost a piece. That's not my vision. Closing her up, taking her in the crescent roll, and just kind of wrapping her around the crescent roll, just like that. Kind of just like that. Maybe just like that. There we have it. Now just get them on the aluminum foil sheet pan, and give it to the smoker. Let's get it. All right, got the old camp chef set to about 380 degrees, rocking Bear Mountain competition blend pellets. Gonna throw them in here for about uh, 12 to 15 minutes, then check them. Let's do it. Just get a holy hog look at those, folks. Look phenomenal. Uh, you can see the jalapenos, cheddar. Look how golden brown that looks. Awesome. Dog's kind of curled up a little bit. I am uh, not gonna wait. I'm just gonna dive in and uh, give this pick a pop. So here we go. Oh, my Nikes. Oh, that Bahama Mama makes me want to do the Bahama Boogie. Good Lord. Mm, there ain't enough here for everybody. I'm not gonna tell you. This might be the bite of the year. You got that jalapeno, which I love spice. You guys know that. The croissants cook perfectly. It's GBD golden brown delicious. Cheese is melted. And that Bahama Mama. If you guys want to be a hero and make your own sausage, go ahead. But worst case, buy yourself a good quality sausage because that, that's a game changer. I'm telling you. Somebody needs to call Grandma. Where's Grandma? <laughs> Get Grandma here. Tell her I got a new recipe for her to try. Jeez, doesn't have to be my grandma. It could be yours too. I don't give a sh You know what I'm going to say. Whatever. But this recipe's awesome. And uh, the rest of these guys here are not safe. They're not safe. Might add, pairs well with good whiskey. God, Lee. Mm. I'm on a roll. <laughs> I'll give it that pat on the back. I'm on a roll. So, as always, if you guys like this stuff as much as I do, smash that subscribe button. Like, comment, share. As you can see, we got wind. Weather conditions have been crappy all day. We got shit blowing everywhere. But that's all right. Because we're cooking. We are barbecuing in the worst conditions, so I cannot wait for summer. Well, that said, I don't even give a shit about this anymore, whatever. As always on Barbells and Barbecue, we're lifting weights and crushing plates, and I swear to God, I'm going to be that guy, I'm going to say it. This wiener's a winner. So, cheers. We've all heard of pigs in a blanket. Holy f Hate the f Hate this guy. 